Dakota. Good morning. Welcome to Good Day Dakota. I'm Josh Penny. And I'm Alicia Huff. Thanks for waking up with us on this Wednesday morning. In our top story, North Dakota health officials confirmed four more cases of coronavirus yesterday. That brings our statewide total to five confirmed cases. The residents are from Cass, Ward, and Burley counties. Yesterday afternoon around 2.15, officials announced two of the residents recently traveled internationally. The Ward County man who is in his 60s and the Cass County woman who is in her 20s. At about 8 o'clock last night, the health department confirmed two more people tested positive. The individuals who tested positive are from Burley County, a man in his 50s and a woman in her 20s. All four people are self-isolating at home and none had to be hospitalized. In all, 253 people have been tested, 248 were negative, and five are positive. Governor Doug Burgum addressed the state yesterday, saying now it's more important than ever we follow the rules. The, the, you know, the North Dakota uh, smart versus North Dakota tough, uh, we have to come up with a definition that is. But, you know, s smart is smart in this case is uh, protecting those. And I would just ask people to think about the whether it's uh, grandparents, uh, great grandparents, loved ones that you have. Think about those individuals. State Health Officer Mylene Tufty expects more positive tests in the coming days and weeks and suggests that residents have materials on hand to self-isolate for two weeks and explore options to telecommunicate. In light of the new information, Governor Burgum announced there will be daily briefings at about 4 o'clock every day. Well, because of the increased number of cases, both the governor and state health officer Mylan Tufty are stressing the importance of social distancing to slow the spread. That includes staying home and not to go to work if you feel sick. Practice good hygiene, wash your hands, avoid touching your face, and cover coughs and sneezes. If someone in your household has tested positive for coronavirus, keep the entire household at home. Older individuals and those with underlying health conditions should stay away from other people and also work from home when, whenever possible. Avoid social gatherings of more than 10 people. Also avoid eating or drinking in bars, restaurants and food courts and use drive throughs pick up or delivery options. Avoid discretionary travel, shopping trips and social visits. And Tufty says that they anticipate even more cases and she urges you to prepare and not to panic. First District Health Unit also held a press conference on Tuesday to update the community about COVID-19. Officials said that people with flu-like symptoms can get tested at Trinity Health's Medical Arts Clinic in Minot in their garage underground. They are asking that people call ahead to schedule an appointment. Don't just show up because a medical provider has to order the test. Right now, because of those limitations, um, these fully booked for today and possibly uh, tomorrow. Um, so don't anticipate that if you call that you, you'll be scheduled immediately and get the test done right away. For more information or to schedule an appointment to get tested, call the number on your screen. Governor Burgum said in his press conference that Sanford Health in Bismarck is working on a walk-in testing clinic. Well, as the coronavirus pandemic continues to grow, so do the regulations at health centers. Sanford Hospital in Bismarck is just one of the many places making changes because of the coronavirus. At the main entrance of the hospital, each person who comes through the door is asked questions and screened for symptoms. The hospital is also testing up to 10 people a day for coronavirus. And the chief medical officer of the hospital is urging patients to call ahead before showing up. Officials say that they have enough testing kits to last for a few weeks, but it all depends on the number of people being tested. And that takes us to our question of the day, which you can find on Facebook at KX News and KX News Minot. And we're asking if you have canceled medical or dental appointments due to the coronavirus. 23% of folks out there say yes, they have made some cancellations. 77% say no, so be sure to join us in on that conversation.